Welcome to Rachel's Reading Room, where we focus on individuality, neurodiversity, and socio-emotional development. Hope you enjoy. When Lion Feels Shy, written by Gemma Carey, illustrated by Krishna Kumar. Lion is quite gifted when it comes to building dens. He's also super skillful with a set of colored pens. But he's different from most lions, and I will tell you why. Unlike most big cats you know, Lion is shy. For instance, if you look right now, can you spot Lion hiding? Pining to join in with all the splashing and the sliding? Our timid friend lets out a long lingering sigh. I'm a lion, he says sadly. I should be brave, not shy. When a rustling sound fills the next door bush, Lion keeps still like a statue. Shush! The rustler spies and our lion spies back. The rustler peeks through a small, twiggly crack. Then the bush neighbor's trunk gets a twitch and ah-choo! Lion leans out and whispers, Bless you! I'm sorry I spied, says our elephant chum. I'm new to this town. I don't know anyone. I don't suppose you could show me around? But Lion just makes a whimpering sound. I'm afraid I am not the best lion for that. I'm not very brave. I'm a too shy big cat. Elephant ponders, then holds up her trunk. I know. We'll go on a bravery hunt. So Lion steps out and our elephant follows. Before long, they stumble across a small burrow where the teeniest, tiniest little brown mouse is stacking smooth pebbles in front of her house. The mouse doesn't squeal or dash off to hide, but calls her best friend to join her outside. Elephant asks how the pair are so brave. We're giants to you guys. Aren't you afraid? Of course, replies Mouse. I will not lie. I'm less scared when a friend's nearby. Further along on Golden Sands, A single sentry meerkat stands. Excuse us, says our elephant, but we are on a bravery hunt. Do you have any tips to share? The meerkat frowns and sniffs the air. At first, I hated standing guard. But in time, tough tasks get less hard. Don't dwell on worries in your head, but look at what's around instead. Thank you, says our shy big cat. I must try to remember that. A troop of monkeys dashes by, performing for some friends nearby. They leap and swing like acrobats, all through their leafy habitat. But littlest monkeys, feeling shy, and all eyes on him, starts to cry. Take a deep breath, mummy calls. So Monkey breathes and jumps, but falls. Perhaps we'll practice shorter ones. Mum hugs him tight, then off they run. Circling back to the watering hole, Elephant spots a zebra foal. Hiya, the foal cries with a kick. Wow, says Lion, what a trick. But I'm a predator, aren't you scared? The zebra foal just shrugs and stares. When you're scared of feeling shy, it often helps to work out why. Then when you think you've understood that, concentrate on things you're good at. With a wave goodbye to the zebra foal, our pair returns to the watering hole. Elephant turns to Lion to say, You are a brave big cat today. I was? 
asks Lion bewilderedly. Yes, you were. You talked to me. It's brave to chat to someone new. But now we must be brave as two. Our shy pair steps toward the pool. Can we join? Your game looks cool. Of course, says Hippo. Don't be shy, but please don't eat us, furry guy. A trunk is dunked and soon takes aim, then squirts and douses lion's mane. Our lion laughs, his eyes all twinkly. He plays until his paws go crinkly. Later, Hippo asks, what's next? Lion, some ideas? Lion feels his cheeks go pink. His thoughts are drowned by fears. Remember what the zebra said, suggests our trunky friend. Okay then, Lion mumbles. We could all build a den? Great idea, says Hippo, and everybody cheers. Lion smiles at Elephant, who proudly flaps her ears. Lion's thought about one den turns into eight, nine, ten. A competition soon takes place, which Lion wins, and then the dens turn into party tents. A massive dance floor, too. Lion looks on nervously and gives his claws a chew. Deep breath, pal, says Elephant, who then takes Lion's paw and leads our shyest buddy to the brightly lit dance floor. And then it dawns on Lion that he'll always be quite shy, but things are so much better when he's got a friend nearby. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, why not check out my other videos?